You gotta do whatever you gotta do. You can see I got real thin at the bottom right here where I got ate away. See, the good news is we got a little rubber section right up here. So we're able to take the bad section off on both sides. There's like some gluey stuff here to cut off too. So we gotta cut off that much and then that much here. And the uh, coupler adds about an eighth of an inch. Here's our Dorman slice part right here, Dorman 800-640, that's for 5 eighths. They also make it in other sizes. Grab your center coupler, lubricate your green sealers with uh, mineral oil. Then you're gonna set it up like so. The brass or copper ferrules, the tapered end's gonna point towards the red nut, red nut on the outside. You're gonna wanna make sure you're nice and clean everywhere, made a nice cut. Make sure the uh, end of the line goes all the way in there. This works just like a compression fitting. We're gonna hold back on the center piece and tighten the red nut into it. Go my one inch wrench and some vice grips. There we go, that's nice and snug. We'll move the vice grips back a little bit. Now we got to get our next line through there. Grips are in the way a little bit. All right, we're in there all the way, bottomed out on the coupler, and we need to make sure it's, as we're tightening, it stays all the way in there as we tighten the red nut. Can't let it back out. We're working in tight quarters. All right, guys, there's our finished product. One perfect splice in a tight area. Looks good.